This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, June 12, 2015. Euro dollar. So right now the euro's caught mid-range and it's unclear whether the market wants to break higher and extend its correction for a more meaningful upside beyond 114.67 or if we're going to hold below 114.67 with the bearish trend intact in favor of the next downside extension below 108.19 which guards against that critical support, that 12-year low from March. At this point, we need to wait and see and really anything in between is just a consolidation sterling dollar. So cable has rallied up impressively in recent trade from 51.70 lows, though the market has stalled out by some critical internal resistance in the 155.50 area. It's going to take a break and close above 155.54, the current weekly high, to open the door for fresh upside back towards a potential retest of the recent 2015 high at 158.15, while inability to do so will keep the pressure on the downside for a move back down towards that recent 51.70 low. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen has entered a period of correction this week with the market pulling back from that recent multi-year high at 125.85 and the market now should be poised for deeper setbacks potentially towards that previous resistance turn support at 122. Ultimately any setbacks that we see should be very well supported into the 122 area in favor of a resumption of gains back above 125.85 and towards 130 further up. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has been consolidating in recent trade, but the market has been gradually recovering off lows that we saw back in the 102s and is looking for the next major upside extension beyond recent highs from last week at 105.75, which will open the door for a retest of the February peak at 108.15. Really at this point, only back below recent lows at 104.40 would take the immediate pressure off the top side. Aussie dollar. So despite Aussie dollar bouncing in recent trade, the market remains locked within a longer term downtrend and any rally should be very well capped ahead of 80. At this point, look for a lower top to carve out somewhere ahead of 80 in favor of the next major downside extension back below the recent multi-year low at 75.33 set earlier this year. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has seen a bit of a pullback this week, though the pullback is classified as corrective with the market locked within a broader uptrend. Recent lows that we saw down at one eight, uh, d down by the, re the 119.20 area have been very well supported, and a medium-term higher low is sought out in that area and have the next major upside extension back above the recent highs that we saw this year at 128.35. At this point, look for the lows in the 122 area to hold in favor of that next upside extension. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has broken down this week to fresh multi-month and multi-year lows into the 69.67 area with the market now poised for maybe a bit of a bounce given a little bit of extended daily studies. However, ultimately the downtrend remains firmly intact with the market now on pace for the next extension towards a measured move objective at the 65 area further down. Any rally should be very well capped ahead of 74 while only a break back above recent uh, resistance that we saw at uh, in the form of Thursday's high around the 7080 area would take the immediate pressure off the downside. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to show signs of a potential top off those recent record highs that were established at 2137 and the market is now looking for a lower top ahead of the next downside extension below the re current weekly low at 2070 and towards critical support at 2040 further down. A break below 2040 would be a significant development and suggest that this is a more significant uh, top that's in the works with the S&P 500. At this point really only a break back above the record high 2137 would negate the topish outlook for the market. Gold. So gold has been very well supported by some internal support at 1170 with the market unable to put in a daily close below 1170 and this keeps the pressure on the top side for a potential retest back towards 1232, those highs that we saw going back to the 18th of May. At this point there is the bias for a potential longer term base in the works and so if the market does hold above 1170 and breaks back above 1232 this could open an acceleration back above 1300. However, a daily close below 1170 would negate this outlook and potentially expose a retest of the 2014 base at 1131.